Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, let's have a continuation about our lesson about Polya's rule in problem solving. I'm going to discuss you today is about consecutive integers. So when you talk about consecutive integers, are the integers that follows one another in order. It's like consecutive days, follows one another in order in terms of days. Consecutive years follows one another in terms of years and etc in consecutive integers like for example we have five six and seven there are three consecutive integers these are the integers that follows one another from five followed by six and seven so now we are going to represent the first integer by x but if we let x represent the first integer the question is how would we represent the second integer in terms of x if we let x represent the first integer note that 6 is one more than 5 which is the first integer then we could represent the second integer by x plus 1 did you get that okay so since we let x represent the first integer and then we know that 6 is 1 more than 5 therefore we could represent the second integer by x plus 1 because x represent 5 so therefore when you add 5 by 1 it's 6 therefore represent as by x plus 1 okay i hope you you get that no since we let x be the first integer and then x plus 1 the second integer our third integer would be x plus 2 okay because x equals to 5 therefore x plus 1 is equals to 6 because by substitution then x plus 2 would be our third integer that would be 7 okay again 5 should be substituted here that's why our third consecutive integer is equals to 7 i hope you, you get that so next one is consecutive even integers okay. so let's have an example we know that even integers are all divisible by 2 so let's say we have we have 4 we have 6 and 8 4 6 and 8 our first second and third even consecutive integers all those numbers are divisible by 2 so now we let x be our first even integer what do you think would be the representation of the second integers in terms of x hmm? note that 6 is 2 more than 4 so that would be x plus 2 would be our second consecutive even integers now the rest will follow okay so the third consecutive even integer would be, well, note how 8 is 4 more than 4. So therefore, our third even consecutive integers would be x, x plus 4. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Okay, the next one is consecutive odd integers. When you say consecutive odd integers, so these are the numbers that is not divisible by 2 so like 1 3 5 7 9 11 etc those are add numbers add integers so when you talk about consecutive it must be follow one another in order so let me give you an example of three consecutive integers we have 5 have 7 and 9 
these are three consecutive integer if we let x represent the first add integer how would we represent the second consecutive add integer okay note that 7 is 2 more than 5 which is the first add integer so therefore we could represent the second consecutive add integer by x plus 2 okay so we have the first odd integer represent as x and the second odd integer represent as x plus 2 so now the question is what about the third consecutive add integers well note how 9 is 4 more than 5 which is the first consecutive add integer therefore we could represent the third consecutive add integer as x plus 4 okay so here's the thing note that a common misconception is that because we want an add number that we should not be adding a 2 which is an even number keep in mind that x is representing an odd number and that the next odd number is 2 away just like 7 is 2 away from 5 so we need to add 2 to the first odd number to get to the second consecutive odd number I hope that's clear Okay, now I will give you the application of the topic, which is consecutive integers. The sum of three consecutive integers is 258. Then find the integers. So let us find the three consecutive integers. By Polya's rule in problem solving, which is step number one understanding the problem we need to know what is the three consecutive integers that if we are going to add them that sum up to 258 so we're going to represent now the three consecutive integers in terms of x so as what we study a while ago that we can let x be the first integer okay so since this is consecutive it should be follow one another in order okay the order that i am talking to you right now is when you talk about integers it always add one by one okay unless it's consecutive even integer so the order of that is add two by two two and two okay so on and so forth so since we are asked to get the three consecutive integers only okay so our second integer would be x plus one and our third consecutive integer would be x plus two now that we have our first second third consecutive integers represent represent as x we can now formulate our equation to solve what is the three consecutive integers in the problem so let's have our step to devise a plan okay by reading again the problem it says here the sum of three consecutive integer is 258 okay we have three consecutive integers the first the second the third should be equals to 258 so this would be our formula okay so by substituting what first consecutive second consecutive and third consecutive integer in terms of x we have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 
is equals to 250. So this would be our equation. So let us solve this algebraically in step 3, which is carry out the plan. So by using our plan, which is x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 258, we are going to combine like terms, variable to variable, and then constant to constant. So x plus x plus x, that become 3x plus 1 plus 2, we have 3 is equal to 258. Okay, so since I have a constant here beside my 3x, so again, as I told you a while ago that constant and constant should be joined together. So you have to transpose these three to the other side so it become 3x is equals to 258 minus 3. Okay, so copy this one. 258 minus 3 is 255 so since we need to get the value of the variable we have to eliminate 3 beside x so we have to divide both sides by 3 so therefore we have x in the left side and 255 divided by 3 is 85 it represents your first consecutive integer so let's see if our answer is correct by doing our step four which is look back check and interpret this is the first and then the second consecutive integer would be x plus one and the third would be x plus two what we're going to do here is just substitute the value of x in our variable so this would be this would be 85 plus 1 is equals to 86 okay and this would be replace it here we have 85 plus 2 we have 87 okay as you can see we have three consecutive integers we have 85 86 and 87 so what is asked in the problem is that we have to get the three consecutive integers and then let's see if the sum of them is 258 so we have 5 plus 6 we have 11 plus 7 18 3 times 8 we have 24 plus 1 we have 25 so our answer is correct this is the three consecutive integers that we are looking for Okay, so another way to check this one is you have to, you just have to use the original equation and then substitute the value of x that we have. And then when the right hand side of the equation is equals to the left hand side of the equation, it means the value of your x is correct. So let's try. By using our value of x which is 85, so we have 85 plus 85 plus 1 plus 85 plus 2 is equals to 158 so this would be 85 plus 86 plus 82 87 is equals to 258 and then when you add this one it's 258 is equals to 258 so when this equation when the equation is equal it means that your answer is correct uh, I hope you understand the lesson today and then check your assignments later. I think I will post three problem set and then I will give you a time frame for you to be able to submit that assignment in the canvas. Okay everyone keep safe and God bless.